Okay, let's see. Da -da -da. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, guys. Oh, let me see this. Um, I don't know what. Uh, Claudia, what is happening with your camera? In the same case with Catherine, with Miguel Antonio, Astrid Jamilet, Olga, Lisette, Crisia, and Carlos David Lopez. Claudia said, ah, okay, it's okay. Okay, okay, she's out of the country. Okay, let me see. Catherine. In the case of Catherine, oh, Carlos, he will join us in a few minutes. And. Carlos, what is going on with your camera? Dalila. Okay, thank you. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? And let me see. Catherine, you are having some problem with your internet or something like that? Catherine Marie, I think she's having a problem. Miguel, I'm working. Oh, okay. Okay, Miguel is working. It's working, Carlos. Carlos David Lopez. Okay, guys, please try to keep your camera on. Uh, today is it is the last, it is the last class. Is there is the last section? I hope you feel well, you feel like, uh, uh, well, I don't know which are your expectations, but I hope you have enjoyed the whole journey <laughs> that we had during this whole month. And now we are going to see, okay, okay. We're going to share the screen and see what we have for today. We. Uh, no, this was okay. This is what we have. Let me see right here. The chef. Oh. Uh, guys, do you hear me well? Because yes. Catherine, is, Catherine is telling me that she's having issues that she can hear. Que no escucha, dice Catherine. No teacher, you're listening. No teacher. Listen I can listen. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I think she's the only one who is having some problem with the with the audio. Okay, guys, how many of you already finished or complete the whole plan for to this time? How many of you? How many of you, guys? Uh, Rina, you already complete the whole plan for okay. Crisia, raise your hands. Who else? Maria, uh, Rina, what about you? Okay, teacher. No, Rina, <laughs> you already okay, no. you already finished the plan for. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Silvia, you are complete, right? Yes. Okay, Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. You already finished the platform, for, right? Hello. Yes. Okay. What else? Idalia. Margarita. Hello. Hello, teacher. You already complete the platform? for? Um. Yes. Okay. What about you, Miguel Antonio? Yes. Okay, you already completed it. Lilia, Liliana Dolores? Yes, teacher. Okay, Olga Lisset. Hello, Olga. Hello. Hello, you already finished the platform? For? Yes. Okay. Dalila, you said yes, right? 
Yes, teacher. Diana, what about you? Yes, teacher. I finished okay. the, the last week. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos David Lopez, you already finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, Saul Enrique, you already finished the plan of four? Uh, Claudia Margarita, please send me a message if you already complete the, the platform the same way with the Ma Catherine Marielos and with Astrid. Let me know if you already finished the, the platform because, okay, yes, teacher, she already completed. Okay, guys, now we have here the final exam of the section five. Let's Let's go into share what we have. Choose the correct word or phrase to complete it. To complete it, guys. Let's see what we have right here. I'm going to read it first. And after that, we are going to select uh, the best answer for to complete the, the statement. Mm -hmm. What we have right here. If you talk, wow. if you walk to work, mm -hmm. you, the empty spaces, pay for the bus. We have different choices. I have to, won't have to, may have to. Which one, guys, do you might consider the probably will be the best answer for this section? The second, want to, won't have to pay for the bus. Mm -hmm. If you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is like the meme. I didn't take the bus because I want to save some money. And while I was walking, I lost I lost one one bill. <laughs> he lost the money. He better he better had take the bus. What about the number two? If you we have the empty spaces, a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. We have the three possible answers. Take, if you take, take, if you take, if you take, you let's keep it in that way. If you take, all right? If you take, wait, guys, I'm looking for the audio that we're going to need for today. Let me see something. I lost the audio that I have right here. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Uh, option B. Okay, that it is. Okay, option A, take. What about the number three? If you get married, you, in these spaces, less free time. Won't be, might take, or will have. Will have. Will have. If you get married, you will have less free time. Mm. I think that is the first won't be. Mm. If you get married, you will have less, um, less free will time. Have. Will have. Yeah. Ah. Guys, guys, once you get married, you won't have free time again. What is the problem with the man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I just, I, I just uh, like uh, sharing you the real panorama that we have in the whole country. When you were single, you have the whole time in the world. Why, once you get married, the time reduced a lot. <laughs> okay, which one we decide? What's the number? Three, we'll have. Okay, we're going to see after this one. And which one might be the possible answer? Oh, here we have a large one. Fiona carefully plans her day, so she's never late for appointment. She likes to be creative, punctual, forgetful. Punctual. She likes to be punctual. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be. Okay, let me see right here. Okay. 
Jerry tries to help people and never say no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really mm -mm, man. Generous, impatient, disorganized. Generous. 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 Okay, let's keep it that way. Generous. Let's see number six. Amy and Sam get angry easily. And, and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're moody and level, level head, hard working, bad temper. Bad temper. Bad temper. Bad temper. Okay, do you think that might be the right one? Next, we are going to see which one is the correct one. Ta -da -da -da. <gasps> Guys, you didn't make any mistakes. Oh, if you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Guys, remember what I was telling you. What, uh, from which word is is the net the. Is, this negative four to which word belongs? One, it is the negative four of? Will. Of, of will. Okay, one is the negative four of will. Okay, thank you. Thank you for remembering that. Okay, let's see. If you walk toward, you won't have to pay for the bus. Number two. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Guys, after this course, after this model, you will take, I think, like a, a large vacation for, for recover the whole energies. <laughs> well, um, let's see. Number three, if you get married, you we will have... We have less free time. You will have less free time. Mm -hmm. Let's see the number four. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointment. She's like she likes to be punctual. 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 Mm -hmm. Punctual. Let's see right here. Jerry tries to help people and never say no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really, how do we say this word? How do we say it? Yeah. Gen generous. Generous. Okay, thank you. What about the number six? Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're moody and bad temper guys what we are going to do right now i'm going to i'm going to give you one sentence to each one i'm going to choose six of you and i'm going to give the number one to idalia margarita you're going to help me with the number one okay okay mm -hmm. let's see um... Rina Margarita, Arana. Yes, sir. You're going to help me with the number two. Okay. Uh, Silvia yes. Esther, hello. Hi. Uh, hello. You're going to help me with the number three. Okay. Uh, just reading. Just reading. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Gabriela, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Gabriel. So far, so good. Ah, okay, you are you are good. Good. You're going to help me with the number four. Okay. Okay. okay let me see who I, Crisia. Hello, Crisia. You're going to help me with the number five. Okay. Okay, Diana. Yes, teacher. You're going to help me with the number six. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ta -da -da -da.
Mercedes. Not right here. Okay, who is the number one? Um yes. If you all you were, you won't have to pay for the bus. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alia. Number two. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number three. If you get married, you will have less less free time. Less free time, thank you. Let's move to the number four. Okay. Fiona careful plans till her day. So she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Aurela. <clears throat> what about the number five? Jerry tries to help. No, me va, pues. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay, Jerry, Jerry tries. Jerry tries to help people and never say no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous man. Okay, thank you, Christian. Now I'm going to move. <laughs> okay. The number six. Amy and Sam get angry, is ill, and most never smile. And almost never smile. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks they're moody and bad tempered. Tempered? Okay. Sí, and bad temper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bad temper. Okay. If you remember. If you remember, guys, all of the what we were using right here was related with the adjectives. In this case, with the personalities. Uh, uh, some people might be, in this case, they express the word relaxed. And, and we use punctual, forgetful, creative, generous, impatient, disorganized. Level head, hard working, and bad temper. Remember that some of them we were translating into Spanish, right? In this case, uh, guys, did you remember what this means in Spanish? Level head, translating to Spanish. Confiable. Central, central. Yeah, central, yeah. That's why, like, if, if you make, like, a literary translation, level head, mm, level head, in Spanish, central. Or in other words, that you are, that you are not crazy. <laughs> okay, thank you. And now we're going to move to the next section and see what we have. We're going to move to the section B and see what we have right here. Here we go with the listenings. Wait, guys, I need to look for the audio first. <laughs> okay, I think we're having some. Okay, it is okay. Well, now I'm going to play the audio and then we are going to see the possible answer. I think we are going to play twice to understand a little bit better. Units 9 to 10, quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you would want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, 
Do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But, Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling, and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. No, oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant? Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping. And you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Mm, well, guys, I think because due to the audios were like a little bit large, we're going to play one more time. And after that, we're going to talk about the possible answer. We're going to play it again. And please try to, to pay attention. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you would want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But, Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling, and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. No, oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but... Hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, 
A flight attendant? Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, guys. Let's go to check the possible answer. The one that we might have for today. Let's go to see. Let's move to the number five. Sylvia. What do you think might be the best answer in the case of Sylvia? Has some old letter from her or from her grandmother is going to sell her old typewriter. He's happy. She's happy with his with her laptop. Uh, is, is happy. happy with her laptop. Is happy with her new laptop. Okay. okay. Laptop. Yes. That's going to keep it that way. She's happy with her new laptop. According to Harry, if Marsha stay in her apartment, she may have to make a lot of repairs to it. She will have more time to save for a house. She won't be able to afford a big old house. Mm -hmm. She will have more time to save for a house. She'll have more time to save for a house. Okay, okay. There is something very common in the U.S. You have to save a lot of money in order to get your new house because you give a down payment. A down payment is like a, your prima. According with the down payment that you give, it is the, it is the payment that the... Uh, this guy is telling you that you're going to be paying for how many time, all of those kinds of things. But it's a very large process too. Well, what about the jeans that speak both French and Spanish, like the idea of Jim become a flight attendant, thinks Jim needs a Nira to take a vacation. Mm -hmm. What thing do you like the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant? Mm, like the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Okay. What about number four? Mac is going to be a counselor at the summer camp. Has a lot of patience to work with kids. Mm, wants to get a job at a national park. Mm hmm. Want to get a job at National Park. Wants to get a job at National Park. Okay, we're going to check right now if this one are correct. Let's we're going to see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. The moment of the true guy. Let's going to see if we are right, we are wrong. Don't worry. Let's see. The team marine the dust way. Okay, you were right, guys. In the case of Hill, Sylvia is happy with her with her laptop. Okay. According to Harry, if Martha stay in her apartment, she'll have more time to save for a house. Jim's dad likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Who don't if he can get like a special price for for tickets for their parents? Yeah, that might be better. What about the case of Max? Wants to get a job at a national because he doesn't like to work with kids because he's very impatient. He ha he hasn't had uh, patience. <laughs> okay, let's go to move to the to what is this? Oh yeah, be going to move to the C section. We're going to move to the 
to the C section and see what we have right here. Okay, complete the conversation. Complete the conversation, check the correct response. What we have right here. Oh, we have this one and three possible answer. Number one, A, I'm not very good at typing. Then first choice, oh, I am. Well, I do. Really, I don't mind. Which one do you think might be the best response for this for this one? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I am. <clears throat> oh, I am. Would else think the same? Oh, I am, no, okay. Oh, the other ones are just moving their head like that. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I got it. I got it. I got it. What about the number two? I like working with computers. We have the three possible answers. So am I. Neither can I. So do I. So do I. So do so do I. Okay, let's keep it that way. Let's see the number three. I don't mind driving to work every day. Three possible choices. Oh, I don't. Neither do I. Really? Neither do I. I. Neither do I. Neither, Neither do. do I. Neither do I. Neither in Dubai I have, I have heard Dubai. No, no, it's this one. Neither do I. <laughs> okay, let's go to more. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking about Dubai. I think is uh, I was uh, watching some picture of a friend of mine that was in Dubai, <laughs> and also I, I want to stay there, but I can't. <laughs> let's go to see here the, the 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 answer. Oh, you were right, guys. I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. Mm -hmm. I like working with computer, so do I. Guys, did you did you remember how those structures were used, right? So do I and neither do I. So do I was used in order to respond that you were also agree with that person, right? What about neither? Neither you are going to use it that you are accord, you, that you are agree with that person, but in a negative way. In this case, when we are talking in a positive way, like this, like in the first example that we have right here, I like working with computer. The another person is responding to them in the same way, in a positive in a positive way. So do I. That's why he's using this. So do I. Or in other words, in Spanish, yo también. What about in this one? I don't mind. If you see, guys, we have a negative form. I don't mind. We had a negative form. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. He's, he's also responding in, in related with agreement with that person in, in an any way. Neither do I. And I don't know if you have some question till this this moment. No question. Okay, I need three volunteer guys in order to read one, two, and the and three sentence that we have here. Okay, we have the number one. Uh, Olga said, "How are you, Olga?" <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hello, Olga. You can help me with the number one. To read the number one. I'm not very good. Uh, no le puse atención, you said. At, <laughs> I'm not very good at typing. At ty I'm I, not very good at typing. At? I, oh, I, ah, ya me equivoqué. <laughs> Estoy muy a la carrera. No, no, no. Don't be in a rush. <laughs> Don't be in a rush. We are still having some time. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I 
um, I am. Um... Okay, thank, thank, thank you, <laughs> thank you. You, you, you did, you did your <laughs> best. <vez> rápido. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. Don't worry. You're going to to keep improving and uh, uh, all of those areas. Don't worry about that. Thank you. What about Lourdes Nunez? Hello, Lourdes. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Okay, Lourdes, can you help me reading the number two? Yes. I like working with computers. So do I. So do I. Okay, thank you. Do you like working with computers, Lourdes? We? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Sí, sí. <laughs> I study also uh, French and I con, con, uh, con, con fondo. <laughs> oh, you confused. Yeah. No, confused. don't worry that. Don't worry for that. Even in my case, that happened to me because there's some time that maybe I am trying to think or remember one word in Spanish, but I can remember that specific word in Spanish. In some cases, I, I only just remember in English. And even with my family, I have that problem. I remember that one, uh, that one time I was talking with my mom and I just tell her, mom, you were talking about this. And I said the word in English and my mom stayed like that way. <laughs> yeah, those, those things happen when we are handled two languages or more. Don't worry about that. Those, those, those things always happen. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see who Gabriela. Hello, Gabi. Hello. Hello, Gabriela. You're going to help me with the number three, right? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I don't mind writing to work every day. Neither do I. Neither do I. Remember, Gabriela, we were talking about the neither in this case is also uh, in, a, in an agreement but in a negative form. Okay? Keep, keep that on mind. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Thank you. Let's see. Who else? I want three more volunteers. Let me see, ta, ta, ta. Miguel Antonio, how are you, Miguel? Antonio Rodriguez. Do you, you, you can hear me. Me escucha, Miguel? No. Well, uh, do you do you have some problem here? And uh, Carlos, uh, who raised the who raised Diana? Okay, Diana, you're going to help me with the number one. Sorry, okay. el audio no me funcionaba. Ah, Diana, sí. Diana, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now we we already fixed the the problem. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Uh mm -hmm. The number one. You already fixed the problem here. I hmm? I I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Diana, now you can help me with the number two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I like working with computers, so I do. So do I. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, so do I. So do I. Okay. Saul Enrique. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Saul. Saul, would you like to help me with the number three? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Neither. Neither. Sorry, teacher. Neither. Neither. No, do no don't, don't worry about that. Will be that that's why we are here. We are learning. Mm -hmm. We are learning. Don't worry about that. Neither do I. Neither. Neither remember, do I. remember, start with ni. Neither. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see who else. Uh, oh, you were missing. Carlos David, you, you hadn't helped me. Help me. Okay. Carlos, help me with the number one. Okay, uh, I'm not very good at typing. Oh, mm -hmm. I am. Oh, I am, okay. Help me also with the number two, Carlos. Uh, I like working with computers, so, so do I. So do I. Okay, that was great. 
Okay, and let me see. Who is missing, guy? Who is missing? Raul, Saul. Guys, do do you know what what has happened with 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 one of your classmates that he he was having like a some problem at the moment to speak? I don't remember the name of this guy. I don't remember the name of this guy. I don't know what happened with him, but I don't see here. I don't see him right here. Okay. Well, that's that's going to. Uh, Liliana Dolores, hello. Hello. Liliana, would you like to help me with the number three? Okay. I don't mind dr driving to work every day. Mm -hmm. neither, neither do I. Neither. Neither, neither do I. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Neither do I. Neither do I. Thank you. Now we are going to move to the oh the adjective. Choose adjective. Choose the correct word. What we have right here. Okay. Let's see. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for an appointment. She likes to be creative, punctual, forgetful. Which one do you think might be the right answer, guys? Punctual. 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 Okay, let's keep him punctual. Let's move about. Let's move with the number two. Jerry tries to help people and never say no when someone asks him for a favor. Mm -hmm. Generous. Generous. Mm -hmm. Generous. Mm. Generous. Let's see the number three. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never a smile. Everyone think they're mm -hmm. bad. 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 Okay, in this case, bad temper. How many? One, two, three. Are the same? No. Generous questions for the night. Oh, in this case, we have the three, six, nine. If you see right here, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine, yeah. a, nine adjectives. We have creative, we have punctual, we have forgetful. We have generous, we have impatient, we have disorganized, we have level head. In this case, we have hardworking, we have bad temper. Guy, which other adjective to describe personality we might have in this case? Which other do you do you remember? Which other do you remember, guy? The one that we were also sharing during the last classes about the the adjective that helps to describe personality or 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 people moody Is that, how do you say moody moody oh moody moody moody, mm -hmm. moody. crazy moody what else what else besides moody please Strict. Yeah. Yeah. Strict. Strict. Yeah. Strict. Strict. Okay. Strict. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Strict. Y las que nos costaba pronunciar. Reliable. <laughs> oh, reliable. Thank you. Reliable. Reliable. What else? Reliable. Which other guys? Reliable. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Besides uh, those one? Level level head is level level. I don't remember the pronunciation, but it's oh, level, level level head. The one that we have right here. Yes, level head. Uh-huh. 
but don't you remember the other ones? Oh, uh, beside those ones that we have right here in the module, don't you have another one beside this one? Uh, do you think friendly it is an adjective for describing personality? In the case of friendly? Yes, I'm friendly also. Yeah, friendly. What about the case of, of madness? Madness. Madness is a person who all the time is like a... <laughs> what do you understand that in Spanish? Madness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, empurradation. Moment. Let's go into call it right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you, Lord. <laughs> That's a that that's a new that's a new meaning that, that that is going to have for my vocabulary. <laughs> I didn't remember that that, that even I didn't remember that word in Spanish, and, and, and that is how how I I remember some 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 words. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. Well, I think that we 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 were handled like uh, the majority of the adjectives that we saw during the course, right? But in this case, you can keep practices or working with another one, you can do it. Don't worry about that. Okay. Let's go to move to the last part in order to be finished this case. Okay. We have how many exercises? We only have four. What we are here, matching. Instruction, match the sentence with the appropriate information. Okay, guys. First, I'm going to read and the the first sentence and the four possible choices. After I finish to read, we're going to select the right one. Okay. I like to work as an English teacher. We have four possible answers. I'm going to read the four of them because I too disorganize and can stand hospitals because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn because I have an excellent memory and I'll and like meeting people because I don't like to travel or work with people. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think might be the best compliment for this statement, for this sentence? The second, the second sentence is because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn. Because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people to learn. Okay, let's go to keep it on that way. What about the number two? Let's go to read it, and after that, we're going to see the possible complement. And I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant because I'm too disorganized and can stay in hospital or oh, repeat. I don't know if repeat. Okay. Because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people now. Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people because I don't like to travel or work with people. Mm -hmm. Because because I don't like to travel or work with people. Mm, okay, let's go to put this one, the last one. What about the number three? I will make a good waiter. We have the different choices because I too disorganized and can stay in hospital because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people because I don't like to travel or work with people. Which one might be the possible answer, guys? Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. Okay, thank you, Arriba. And uh, let's go to number four. I could never become doctor. We have the different option, the one that we have here, because I too disorganized in Kingston Hospital. Because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people there. Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. 
because I don't like to travel or work with people. The first one, because I am too disorganized in, in Kingston Hospital. The first one, okay. Now we're going to see the possible answers. Da -da -da -da. Okay, guys, you were right. Let's see the number one. I like to work as an English teacher because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn. Guy, did you remember uh, what was this structure? Yeah, the, uh, the use of because. And because help us to join to, to what? To what? Sentences. To join two sentences. Okay, thank you. That is how this word or this connector helps us. Let's see the number two. I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant because I don't like to travel or work with. I don't like to travel or work with people. I will make a good waiter because I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people. Remember we were talking about waiter must have like an excellent memory because the majority of them, they don't carry like a tablet, a piece of paper with a, a, with a pencil, with a pen. That's why the majority of them, they try to keep their 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 order in, in their mind in order to bring in exactly as the customer wants. And let's see number four. I could never become a doctor because I too disorganized and can stand in hospital. The because connector, it is something that really helps us in order to connect two or more sentences. In this case, we don't have like an exact structure in order to, to work with it. We can use like a, a model in these cases. You can also use like a, a simple statement in order to complete after the use of, of before. And also remember, after before, you always going to have the, your subject your bird, and you also you're going to have your complement because without all of this, it is going to be like a, the same thing never, or in, or it's better that won't have any any sense in this case. Every sentence must have like a, a exactly sequence in order to be understandable. In the case of the second one, I don't like to travel. Also we have the connector because I, we have the pair do, but in this case, we are helping. Uh, in this case, we have like a helping bear in an area four, and with the bear like. Okay, I don't like travel or work with people. What about the number three? I will make a good waiter. You see, because I, you have the bear have, because have a, is, a, is a bear. Have is the present for. Have is the past participle, and has it is the present for but in singular. Have is used in present for plural, and has it is used in present for singular. And had, H A D, it is used as a past participle or 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 in past or in past form in these cases. Mm -hmm. I could never become a doctor because I too disorganized and can stand hospital. You see, we always have the same after because we have our subject or verb and plus the complement that we are using in these cases. And guys, I don't know if you have questions or doubts uh, about this part. I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure about. No question, no doubts. I hope everything is clear. No question. 
we don't have question for this segment. Okay, we already complete the, the section A, the section B, C, D, and E. I think this one word the whole one. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this. Now we're going to, okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, guys, uh, I don't know if the other one that connected after I start the class, if you already have the whole platform complete. Saul, you, did you already finish the platform? Yes, teacher. Uh, what about your case, Carlos? Carlos David. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. The other ones tell me that I uh, already finished. Olga, you you, you told me that you already finished, right? La plataforma me está preguntando, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> Te pasa igual que los niños. Sí, finished todo. Todo, todo. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> me finish, finish, estaba fin, pensando fin, otra cosa. Ah, bueno. Finiquitation everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, you already finished the, the whole platform. In the case of the other one, you already told me that you already completed. Astrid, let me know with a message if you already complete the platform. Oh, you, I think you already did, right? Mm, let me see. No, no, you hadn't tell me. Astrid, let me know with a message if you already complete the same case with Elena Marisol Peralta. Elena Marisol, please let me know if you already uh, if you already finished the platform in the same case with Catherine Marielos. Oh, I think she's still having some problem with the case. And Claudia Margarita, yes, she said yes. And well, guys, uh, this was everything. The model has finished, and I hope you have enjoyed the the whole classes. I hope you have learned. Uh, I don't think a lot, but if you learn a lot, I think I might be very glad to hear that. But because I try to do my best in order you learn uh, even some few words, or maybe you can learn more things related with the thing that you already know and this was a, a great experience working with with all of you after i finish the after i finish the recording i'm going to give you like a some saying word like a saying goodbye to you but in this case we're going to to do it in spanish in order to the majority of the understand better <laughs> and we will have problem with in english right i'm going to finish the the recording after the recording i'm going to give some words to all of you guys the ones who are still present i'm going to stop the recording okay